Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to quite literally be tapping into self-love with some positive affirmations. But these are not gonna be just any usual self-love affirmations. These are gonna be validating those negative icky thoughts that we all have from time to time while working towards a better relationship with ourselves, also known as self-love. <laughs> so we're going to be coupling this new strategy of affirmations with another technique called emotional freedom technique or EFT for short. And so this is the idea of literally tapping on different points on your body to help to physically ground yourself to your experience and to help process or center in new, more positive beliefs about your emotional experience. Now, EFT has a specific protocol that they use. So I'm gonna walk through that first and then we'll get to the actual guided with me EFT tapping technique. So if you wanna skip ahead to that, um, I'll put the time in the description of when that starts. But first, we need to go over how to do EFT. So here is how you do it. You typically start with this fleshy part of your outside of your hand here. They usually recommend two fingers. So if you wanna do one, if you wanna do three, you wanna do all of them or however you wanna do that, it's fine. Just want to lightly, gently tap. You do not want to like hurt yourself. You don't want to scratch. If you have longer nails, you might want to use like the more fleshy part of the pad of your finger. So you don't want to be hurting yourself when you're doing this. But you start here and this is kind of like the reset point. And then um, you're going to go to the middle of your forehead. You're going to go to the side of your eye here. So when I'm doing this with you, I'm actually going to take my glasses off because they kind of get in the way for me. Um, you're going to go on this cheekbone part right here under your eye, the part between your upper lip and your nose, your chin, and then you're gonna go um, right here. It's called like your, your soft spot. Um, so it's right near like your heart area. It's that like sore spot between your collarbone and like your breast area. Um, and for this, you do not want to go hard. You do not want to hurt yourself. You're just gonna gently rub so that you feel it in a circular motion. Then you're gonna go, um, you can either do this like the monkey <laughs> version or I'm gonna go across like this with my hand. You're going to tap underneath on the side of your body. Usually if you were to wear like a bra or a brassiere or something like that where that bra strap would be. So like right under on the side where your rib cage is starting. And then you'll go to the crown of your head and then you'll cycle through again to the middle of your forehead and move through. EFT will tell you that you have to follow in this direct order. I'm gonna be rebellious and tell you, uh, I don't know that it really matters where you're tapping. <laughs> I think that the idea of tapping in general is just a very healthy grounding technique. And I stand by that because I first heard that from Dr. Bessel van der Kolk, and he's like the granddaddy of trauma treatment and chronic PTSD. He's amazing in his research. He wrote The Body Keeps Score. If you're nerdy like that, look into him. I saw him speak many, many years ago before I even did decided to go to grad school to be a therapist when he was talking about how to work with people who struggle with self-harm and he first introduced me to this concept of tapping or EFT, emotion freedom technique. And in that training, he said the same thing. He's like, you can tap wherever. I've seen progress wherever you're tapping. So don't worry about the order. Uh, but in this video, if you want to follow the order along with me, you can do that as well. Um, and if at any point you feel overwhelmed or emotional or like stressed out, you can pause, you can stop this video, you can go back to this fleshy area and reset and that's fine. This is how we're going to do the affirmations. We're going to start with even though, and then we're going to say a negative thought that we have had about ourselves or about our situation or circumstances. Then we're going to end with, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. That is my positive affirmation that um, I was trained to use when I was learning how to do this. And I have found it super helpful and effective in my own work when it comes to self-love. And I hope that it will do the same for you. So if you would rather replace that with a different positive mantra or affirmation, go for it. I'm not here to stop you. <laughs> Now, 
Let's go ahead and begin with the tapping. So I'm gonna take my glasses off. All right, you can say these out loud or inside your head if you'd like, um, but repeat along with me. Even though I struggle with loving myself, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I judge myself harshly, and even though I feel really bad about myself sometimes, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I have a hard time believing that I am lovable, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I say really negative things to myself, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I actually hate myself, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I struggle to find anything that I like about myself, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel insecure sometimes about the things that I say or the way that I say things, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I believe the negative things I hear people say about people like me, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though Sometimes I struggle to find the good and to find the positive in myself and others. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I find myself self-sabotaging, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't always keep those promises to myself, and even though I have those days, those weeks, those months where I just give up on my self-care, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I feel like I have to be perfect and I have to be the best, and I struggle with that, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I find it hard to accept myself sometimes, and even though I struggle to love myself all of the time, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm not exactly where I want to be, and even though I'm not done on this self-love journey. Even though it seems like it's going to be a long time until I fully love and accept myself, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't always think I'm doing a good job, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have a hard time always looking at myself with kindness, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I f up, sometimes I make mistakes, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I struggle with self-love. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. 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 
I deeply and completely love and accept myself. When you're ready, you can take a deep breath in through your nose. Slowly out through your mouth. And walk a little lighter and brighter out into your day or into your evening sleep, depending on when you are practicing this self-love tapping affirmations. If you'd like more videos like this, you can check that out right over here. Thanks for watching.